the Flint Hills rangelands and actually all of the tall grass prairie and, and in general the prairies in the Great Plains require fire. If we take fire and, and grazing out of the ecosystem, we will not have prairies as we know them. And this is one way to help work on that regulatory end of it to keep the, the ability to keep burning. Burning and grazing have to happen. And we're gonna to have to try some things that maybe our grandparents didn't do. Burning has changed. The way we burn has changed. Our reasons for burning have changed. The cattle that come into here have changed in the last 50 years. So there are a lot of pieces to the puzzle. We didn't have a whole lot of data on the emissions coming from a tall grass prairie. Um, we developed a modeling tool. Um, that tool uses data from fires, um, but the grasslands that are involved in that uh, modeling tool were not specific to the Flint Hills. What is coming off grassland fires? which you would think would be a well-answered question by this point, but actually it's not. So when you go looking for emissions data from Great Plains fires, it's not there. This will be a first step towards providing some of that emissions data. You know, this project is trying to get at that information, gather that data so that we can use that data to, to input into that modeling tool and make it a better product for the ranchers. And then another research question is, can we get air quality information off drone mounted sensors. The results are instantaneous. You get your data immediately. Um, the challenge is getting the package light enough and making sure that it will fly through the smoke and continue sending its data. Four aircraft operating simultaneously in a pretty close environment um, with smoke is going to be challenging. It's higher risk. Um, we're, we're pushing the limits by operating in this, this environment. So. Losing an aircraft um, is a possibility and we are prepared for that situation. If the results are consistent, so if these smaller, easily transportable sensors are equally reliable as the lab samples, then yes, this will be a very revolutionary new, new way to do the sampling. I think having a better understanding of what we're really doing, what we're putting into the air, will be something that ranchers are gonna pay attention to that, you know, They've got kids and grandkids. They've got kids with asthma. You know, it does affect all of us. And part of the other success would be is having the data used and be useful and keeping fire as a practice that is both not only ecologically acceptable, but socially acceptable in the Great Plains.